What is up guys and welcome back to another Ray Challenge video with me, The Real Deal. So today we are going to be checking out the Altar of Souls. It's literally just dropped and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on so I'll quickly talk you through it. Um, and they've been quite generous, they've given us a few freebies so we can start playing around. Um, so we've got Mortal of Soul Stones that can give you 1 to 6 star um, perfect souls. And then Immortal Soul Stones, 3 to 6 star um, legendary perfect stones. So we'll we'll start putting stuff in a moment and see what happens. And then Eternal Soul Stones, they weren't nice enough to give us any of those, unfortunately. So let's pull some uh, Mortal Soul Stones and see what happens. And it's 10,000 per pull. Okay, so it's epic. And I can't remember who it is, but it's, okay, Blood Braid, someone that we'll never use. Okay, let's pull again. Continue, skip the animation. Okay, Skasix, pretty good champion actually, really uh, underrated. Um, not really used, but I know they are an amazing cleanser. Um, okay, another wasted. Okay, it's going to be pretty trash these pools, I feel like. But let's uh, let's see, let's keep going. Poth oh no, it's not Apothecary. Magister, Magister. Son that never used again. Okay, come on. Okay, Jurogen. So yeah, another one that we don't use. So perfect immortal stone. Come on, give us something juicy, please. Oh, legendary. Okay, so it's four. I mean that's pretty nice though. So that's gonna save you. You know, you only need to get six. Six is the max. So that's almost over halfway there. Fortunately, it's for a champion that I don't even have. So that's fantastic. Thank you very much, Polarium. Okay, so we've done our shards. Um, let's have a look at awakening. So I, oh, okay, so basically it's pushed all the champions that I can awaken to the very top. Um, but yeah, unfortunately it's none that I want to or can. And then we've got a collection here. Um, it's quite sad though. You only get 50 slots. And of course, if you want more, you've got to use gems or you've got to spend money. So, or silver, sorry. So yeah, not the best, not the best. Um, but I'm hoping... Yeah, you can like sell them and stuff, which, um, you know, you're definitely going to be selling your rares probably. Um, I would definitely say you want to be holding on to just your legendaries and your epics. Um, Mythic Market. Okay, so we can basically buy more with um, like the tokens that we earn. Can't buy an Eternal Soul Stone just yet um, because, you know, we can only do uh, stage six at the moment. So it's going to be at least a week before, well, no, about two weeks because... Obviously, it rotates every day, um, and you can only do six stages at the moment. So, yeah, it's going to be a while before we can do that. But might buy some more later and pop those. So, Soul Merchant, do not be tempted. You need to be really careful with who you... Because, obviously, as you can see, we've only got a few. We've only got 20, so that means literally one legendary or sort of two and a little bit of uh, stars that you can buy. Uh, I mean, so you really want to be, like... You're only going to be buying from like your best, best champions, like the ones that you use all the time. Um, so these legendaries, I don't use any of them or I don't have them. Um, so I'm not going to be buying them. Geomancer is actually quite tempting. Obviously, he's amazing for Hydra. Um, so that could be an amazing one. Retrodraft as well is a really good champion. Um, use like I use her loads in Doom Tower and also another great champion for, um, for Hydra. So definitely worth thinking about and basically refreshes every 12 hours so another thing that's really cool that you can do is you have a wish list um so basically you only be doing this for your best best champions like your top top tier champions um so um, you get legendary epic and rare um legendary arbiter of course great speed champion um and i really want her to get that and um, what's it called intimidating presence that new blessing so basically that strengthens um, your aura so she's going to make your team really fast and if you go against another arbiter that's going to weaken their aura so that means that they're going to be slower so that's that's going to be absolutely amazing rotos is just one of my favorite 3v3 defensive champions um just absolutely i love it when he starts popping off and he just absolutely slams so yeah really want to do him up as well trunda absolute beast one of my favorite nukes as well offensively and defensively so i want to to build her up as well um epics i've gone for 
three champions I all use for Hydra, so my God Seeker, my Ugo, my Royal Guard. Um, I feel like they'll really benefit from this. And then Rares, uh, Pain Keepers from my Clan Boss team, Cold Heart, use them every now and then, and Kale just for lols. So yeah, um, yeah, so can't wait to actually start getting some stuff that's useful and really empowering my champions and then sharing it with you guys and hopefully getting some really interesting and cool mechanics going on in the arena and in other places in the game. So thank you so much for watching, guys. That was a quick look at the altar. Um, hopefully you guys get some better pulls than me. And yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And also, if you did enjoy this video, please share it with your clan mates, your cluster, whatever, whoever. I don't mind as long as we spread, uh, spread, spread some love. So thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys. Peace.